Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Good morning. I'm in the mood to make a nice chocolatey dessert for today. So I'm doing an easy recipe. It doesn't take much time or effort. So I got one package of chocolate jello and it's the five ounce box and I poured it in a saucepan and added three cups of milk. I personally have shifted from cow milk to almond milk because it has actually much more calcium than cow milk. How about that? And it does not cause a lot of um, nasal problems and congestions and all that like cow milk does. So I'm just going to keep whisking it until it's nice and creamy. While this is thickening on medium heat I will get some Oreo cookies in the food processor and just break it up a little bit not really crumbs but just a bit broken so I'm gonna put about 15 20 maybe 25 all your cookies in there and let them crush a little bit make sure it doesn't crumble it's just nice big pieces like that okay look at this nice creamy chocolate pudding so you got the nice creamy softness with the crunchy Oreo cookie layered and we're going to put some raspberries and crushed pistachios in the middle too. So you got the layers of softness, layers of crunchiness, and it will be a perfect combination. Less than half an hour. And you have a nice dessert done. Put it in the fridge overnight. Take it to your potluck, your party, whatever. Or eat it the same day, but just give it a couple of hours for all the flavors to kind of get together. And mm, nothing, nothing better than a smooth, creamy chocolate pudding. A chocolate sauce. Yum yum. Okay, I think that's enough. It's about 10 minutes total. So, the chocolate pudding is pretty hot right now. I'll just put it in a place where it can cool off. And stir it every once in a while so that skin doesn't form on top when all the steam is gone it seems warm not really too hot then we can start layering or you can get the kind of jello that you can mix with cold milk either way all right we're back again Naveen with Naveen's cuisine don't forget to go on my youtube channel Naveen apostrophe s space cuisine It'd be great if you can subscribe like comment anyway so now we have everything here we got the crushed well not really crushed halfway crushed oreo cookies we have some crushed pistachio we have some gorgeous raspberries and we have our chocolate sauce or pudding so we're gonna put a layer of the cookies at the bottom see it doesn't have to be crushed you can have little nice big pieces so when you eat it it's all nice and crunchy today is just a beautiful day in orange county thank god the horrible heat we had for weeks is taking a break for a while then it comes back again next week so we're enjoying that so we had a nice layer of Oreo cookies and we will put 
it a layer of this wonderful thick creamy chocolate pudding enough to cover the first layer go to the ends always make sure you have enough for the top layer so you have enough so break the recipe in two so you don't run out because you're going to have two layers of that then we're going to have some beautiful raspberries you put some against the glass like this so you can see it when we take pictures it will look glorious just like that presentation is very important the food has to be good of course and tasty but presentation is of the essence so now that you're putting it in a glass bowl it's nice to look at the layers from the outside see what I'm saying Beautiful. And scatter a little bit in the middle. Preserve the nice, whole, good looking ones for the top. And if there's some that are not that great or, you know, a little crushed or juicy or whatever, put it in the middle because, again, presentation matters. Okay, then I'm going to put a nice layer of pistachio, you can use any kind of nuts you like, almond, walnuts, whatever. I like pistachio and I like the color in the middle like that. You got the brown which is dark, the brilliant ruby red, and a little bit of, I call it the gold dust. And a little bit of that gold dust of pistachios okay one more layer all your cookies you can see from the sides you see all the nice layers the brown and the red and the green beautiful there's so much that you can do with cookies no bake puddings and trifles and so on for these hot days when you really don't want to use the oven and bake anything let's press them down a little bit put the chocolate pudding on top one last layer Kind of smooth it to the edges with a spatula, knife, spoon, whatever. So this here is good enough depending on how much you're going to serve a big piece or little pieces. It could be between, let's see. Four. It could be 12 small pieces or 8 large pieces. When it's ready, be nice and cold and thick. 
and you can get a spatula, get the plate you're going to plate it on, and put a nice little presentation, maybe with a sprig of mint, and a couple of raspberries on top, wonderful. Mmm, the best part is licking that pot from all the chocolate pudding. Let's put another layer of pistachio gold dust, as I call it. and use perfectly picked raspberries in a little shape right here go across just trying to fill all these spots like I said, try to preserve the best pieces of raspberry for the top. And have yourselves a fabulous Sunday. Whether you're just home alone, relaxing with your family, alone, with friends, it's a beautiful day. 88. 80 degrees high today, so I'm all excited about that. And this dessert is probably gonna cool you off anyway. So here it is. And then I'm gonna put plastic wrap on top to keep it nice and solid and not to form any of that silk, not silk, I'm sorry, the, that layer, that skin. When you put plastic wrap on top, that skin does not come out. There we go. Here it is. See the sides? All the layers. Buon appetito! Look at these nice layers, huh? Bon appétit